Hi everyone. I wanted to do a quick review of Asimil's French course. Um, this is a repackaging of an older course as far as I understand it. Um, you can tell because this older course had 113 lessons and I believe there is now a newer one available with a slightly different cover for English speakers. Um, so uh, I, I wanted to quickly address the fact that a lot of people have complained that um, reviews of Asimil courses are basically someone waving a book around. Um, I, I actually completed this entire course. I did every exercise. Um, so again, I, I'm speaking from experience. I'm not just simply talking about things. So I, I've done um, this book and the advanced French book, and I'll do that in a separate review. So um, overall, I have very fond feelings for this course. This was the second Asimil course that I completed, um, but it was actually the one that really changed things in my life because um, learning French to even a, a reasonable level opened up the ability to use Asimil's French courses in their um, native French rather than waiting for translations, and for me that was a big deal. Um, as you can see on the cover, it says you are supposed to reach a level B2, which is absolutely false. Um, I would be surprised if I, currently, after many years of study tested, or I should say on and off study, tested at a B2, um, th this is absolutely not attainable. Um, expect to get maybe an A2. And um, with that having been said, um, I enjoyed the course very much. Some parts of it are actually pretty funny. Um, kind of kind of cheeky, I guess. Um, the format is, of course, bilingual texts. So the French on the left and the English on the right. Um, and then after that, you have some exercises. These are recorded. And then the exercise twos, sorry, here are not recorded. So what I did for this course was I covered up the um, the text here. In fact, I actually just closed the book, and I listened to the exercises and I transcribed them. And then once I had transcribed them, I checked my transcription against the text here in the book, and then I did the translation, which you can then see over there. There are the exercises. For these, um, I would copy the English down and then I would attempt to translate it without looking at this part if possible. They kind of give you a partial translation. Um, I, I didn't really want to get much help, so I didn't uh, use it. Um, that was sometimes a little difficult, but I felt like it was rewarding. Um, on this particular course, I did not do the um, second wave and honestly <laughs> if you've seen my Italian review that's that's not a bad idea um, at 113 lessons though it it is quite long um, however I will say that because it's 113 lessons in the typical 600 or so pages that ICML books have uh, the lessons can be kind of short which is good so it actually keeps to the um, 30 minutes or so a day so I actually dated my entries in this journal. Um, you can see I did this course many years ago. Um, and I tried to stay regular. You can see 1028, 1029, 1030, 1031, and so on, according to their method. And I, I actually did a pretty good job of that. Um, I, th I think sometimes on the weekend it was a little difficult to keep up with that st that pace um, since, since I work full-time, but um, overall it was a pretty good pace. I felt like the lessons weren't so long, and I also felt that um, French being kind of, kind of close to English in spelling and also in, in some of the borrowed terminology, um, I didn't feel it was too difficult compared to say like the Asimil Arabic course where if you really had no basis in Arabic it would be incredibly difficult for you to keep up the pace. Um, so onto the the content of the course um, it does cover pretty much all of the grammar that you need for 
regular French, but notably missing um, is the imperfect subjunctive and the the uh, the the simple past, which is used in stories. So that was kind of a surprise for me um, when I started reading French short stories and I started seeing the uh, simple past being used, I, I was very confused. So this is good, but it is not sufficient um, to, to really say that you've learned all of French grammar or been exposed, I should say, to French grammar. That having been said, um, like I said, I, I really enjoyed the dialogues. The dictionary in the back is wonderful. Um, as, as with most courses, the dictionary will actually show you in which lesson the word appears or first appeared in some cases. Um, and, and that's extremely helpful. And it also gives a justification for this word actually being in here. I've noticed uh, some courses, they just dump a mini dictionary in the back because they think that that gives it value. Um, it, it does not. On ICML, you can really confidently get a sense that every word that they're showing you in this dictionary is actually used somewhere in the text. It's not just a bonus filler. Um, I have not tried any of the earlier French courses. Some people rave that those are, are great courses. I did not need to. Um, I did this and a little bit of Teach Yourself Complete French and also a little bit of um, Routledge Colloquial French. And then that was enough to get me to a level where I could start working a little more independently with French, you know, engaging in, in short stories, podcasts, etc. So um, overall, I recommend this course to anyone who's serious about studying French. Um, I, I think that you can extract more value out of it, like I said, if you do what I suggested, or rather what I did, which is uh, really push yourself to transcribe the exercise one, and then um, try to cover up the, the French for exercise two. Um, I do that with all of the ICML courses that I can. Um, because I just feel like it's a, a more challenging way to work. Um, anyway, I, I definitely recommend this course to anyone. Um, it, it takes a while, but it's always been a thing for me. Like, if I'm going to work on a course every day, it has to be something that I know is going to work pretty well and expose me to um, a sufficient material, and I felt that this course did a great job on that. Um, some of the dialogues are fun. Um, like I said, I would describe them more as cheeky, if anything. Um, and uh, I, I can't, I can't recommend this course enough if you're beginning in French and you, if you enjoy paper courses, if you enjoy the, um, the sort of, let's say French immersion. Um, I. Immersion in the sense that, you know, you're going to be working a lot in French, like you can see in my journal, even on the early lessons, right? I'm writing a lot in French. Uh, so if you're into that, if you're okay with uh, getting out a pencil and working hard, I feel like this is a pretty good course. But um, if you just want to listen to some dialogues and then skip to the next one, I feel that this course will probably move a little too quickly for you, especially if you have no background in any other romance language. So anyway, um, thanks for watching, and I hope that you learn French if, it's, if you're interested in it. Take care.